Uh, hi, I'm Sean. I'm the CEO of Neon Runner. Uh, Neon Runner is a delivery service. Uh, we power uh, logistics for same-day deliveries uh, in, in the Klang Valley. Uh, we allow uh, customers and, and businesses to provide a same-day pickup, same-day delivery, purchasing tasks and running of errands. It all started about a year ago. Me and my co-founder, we are young parents and we, we buy online a lot. And we realized like every time you buy online, you know, you'll take two, three days to get it delivered. You know, if you really needed like that extra pack of milk or that diapers, there was no one that could deliver it like in the next two hours. So we decided to start a service to see whether we could basically help ourselves first and see if there was an addressable market to target. I did my first delivery in December. The, the company was officially launched in April. So what makes Neon Runner different is our entire fleet of 200 runners is fully employed. We're not a crowdsourced fleet, we're a fully employed fleet. Uh, to join our fleet, you need to basically have a driving license. You need to go through our four-week training program. We operate 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Some clients uh, make us work out of those hours. So we start as early as 8 in the morning until 12 midnight for certain clients, but that's on special requests. And uh, we operate, interestingly, seven days a week, public holidays included, so you never without a Neon Runner. At the start, the first six months, it was cool to say you didn't have an office. Uh, we were bootstrapping, as they say. Now, uh, it's just a physical limitation. We have 16 people in the back office and 200 people in the front office, and they need to constantly talk to each other. What we found is the Mamak is a, a very efficient place to meet in groups for now. We will get an office next year because uh, we need a place to store all our stuff right now. You know, the, the books and the, the accounts and stuff is starting to pile up. So it's no longer put in the in the car boot and move around, uh, we need an office next year. Realistically, we can cover Clang Valley and we've done this uh, when we delivered iPhones for DG, you know, we went all the way to Sungai Pelé, you know, to deliver an iPhone. Concentration, what we promise is a 30-minute pickup and to get a 30-minute pickup, you need to be in the, what we call the KL City area. City area being Bangsa, Damansar Heights, anywhere around the KLCC area, we can pick up the goods or buy the goods in half an hour. That's the start of your, your request, basically. Uh, we try and operate uh, on a fair pricing model. So what this means is you pay for the time it takes for your runner to complete the task and the distance he covers. We charge RM 50 cents per minute and 25 cents per km. So 50 cents a minute ensures that he gets paid for his fair time. And you can do anything. You know, you can ask him to line up for TGV tickets. You can ask him to wait for the Lego store uh, launch. We had a customer ask us to wait, line up in queue from 6.30 to 9.30 and then buy the first Lego that comes out. You pay for the time and then distance is how far you need it. So if you're uh, kind of living or working in Putrajaya, we will still deliver anything from the KL City there. You just gotta pay for that extra distance in time. The hardest part running the services is scheduling. That, that is a one, one, one big problem. Uh, most people require stuff from 10 a.m. to 2, and the rest of the day is kind of low. That's the first challenge, is scheduling. Uh, but the, the, the biggest challenge why people uh, don't start delivery businesses very often is the people. It's the ability to hire and train and maintain. Because uh, the last thing you want is to have a fleet of 200, and then uh, somebody offers the drivers 500 ringgit more, and they, 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 they leave. The the ability to train and the ability to retain the team is what's important. So we at Neon Runner have a very interesting policy. We encourage a sustainable workforce. If you met one of our runners or you've seen some of our interviews, we pay them way above market rate. So we pay on average about 10 ringgit a runner. We feel that at 10 ringgit an hour and he works 50 hours a week for 4 weeks a month, it gives him 2,000 ringgit every month which we feel is the minimum you need to survive in here. So as a company, we're trying to give back to the runners to make sure they earn proper living. And that's one of the, 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 the ethos of, of, of Neon. For the first four months, since December till about April when we got funded, we basically used our own money. So 
I told the wife I'm gonna invest our savings that we have kept aside for the kids' education and whatnot. I sold off the car, got whatever cash I had, and I put it into the business. I wanted to give myself six months of runway before we first took angel investors in. So we lasted until April when the investors started coming. We're always looking for, for strategic partners to raise rounds to help fuel our growth. Uh, logistics is a very high investment game and we've chosen to take the higher end of things where we invest in our own workforce. So it's not crowdsourced, so yes, we're, we're looking for investors. Nothing's really changed, it's just the, the press has kind of noticed us a bit more. So we're doing interviews like this uh, every other day, so that helps. I think the public has paid a little bit more attention to us. We've seen our numbers uh, from consumer business go up. At the end of the day, I think uh, it's a very big shoes to fill, you know, to be Southeast Asian chosen startup. It's a very big thing. In our minds, we're still a very small company trying to fit in very big shoes. This gives us kind of more motivation to grow the business and really prove that we're out to, to change things. The goal is to conquer Kang Valley, right? And when we say conquer is we kind of want to have a runner on every business zone, every business street available. So you can just call a runner like that. In KL, we'll probably need about a force of a thousand runners. So that is the first goal. The second goal is once we've covered KL, is to look into other cities. So like a Singapore, or Bangkok, you know, and see whether this model can work in those markets. Right now, we're still doing a bit of research. Uh, what our initial findings are telling us is the Penang and Johor market are very different from KL, where people are not so much starved for time. They still have time to have dinner with the family and stuff. So ordering delivery is not a concern just yet. If you're a startup, the journey of a startup is going to be like a roller coaster. A lot of high highs and a lot of low lows. Uh, you just got to strap yourself in. Give yourself a time horizon. Uh, you know, if you're going to do this for a year or two years, just strap yourself in and enjoy the ride. Just make things happen. Sometimes it's going to be the darkest hours of your life and sometimes you feel like you're king of the hill when you when you receive awards like this, so it's going to be a roller coaster. For the uh, Amans readers, if you go to www.neonrunner.com, sign up and place an order. At the ordering page, there'll be a promo code. If you type in Amans 2015, you get 20 ringgit off your first order. So this is our gift to you, Amans uh, viewers.